papers. Um, the, the group, of course, the newspaper group, of course, denies it. Uh, and d he, Prince Harry had wanted to rely on what he said was a secret agreement between Buckingham. Palace and the newspaper, which he says is the reason why he didn't bring his case forward earlier. The newspaper group had wanted to have his case thrown out of court, saying that the alleged offences that he's talking about occurred uh, too long ago. So, in other words, the limitation period that he has to bring a claim it is over. Prince Harry's lawyers had argued that the judge consider extending that limitation period because they say that he wasn't aware of. Um, those alleged offences until much later because, of course, the secret nature of them. And they say that he has evidence of this secret uh, um, agreement between palace officials and the newspaper group, which he wants to rely on in court. And if he does, of course, that would mean we would, um, we would all find out about it because uh, the court case would, of course, be public. But a reminder that this is separate to the trial that we saw Prince Harry uh, appear in. Um in the building behind me just uh, a few weeks ago. That was for a separate mm -hmm. claim. Prince Harry has quite a few. I'm just going to carry on reading this while I say back just, to you. Yeah, just, just want to come in and just mention it, something that's crossing, crossing the wires now, and, uh, and that's that Newsgroup newspapers has said that this is a, uh, a significant victory uh, from, from their part. And again, just worth um, reminding you that this, uh, this High Court uh, ruling is allowing part of Prince Harry's claims to go ahead uh, and uh, Newsgroup newspapers is framing that as a significant victory on, on their part. So, again, if, if just very simply, just to sum up for us, um, which parts are able to go ahead and which aren't, and, and kind of relative to what we saw more recently with Mirror Group newspapers, where uh, uh, the vast majority of Prince Harry's claims did go to trial. Um, so it looks like, from what I'm reading here, and I'm just reading this as I'm speaking to you, um, that... The, the judge isn't satisfied, Mr Justice Fancourt isn't satisfied that there is enough evidence that um, Prince Harry knew about the phone hacking, um, that he didn't know about the phone hacking when he says he didn't know about the phone hacking. So rem a reminder that this was about whether or not he should have brought his claims earlier. The, the newspaper group had said that his, he was out of date to bring his claims. And the judge saying there is no evidence currently before me that the Duke knew before the applicable date that NGN had done anything other than hack his mobile phone. So these, I, th I think this is what the, the newspaper group is talking about when it says it is a significant victory, because it appears to me, um, from what I'm reading here, that uh, on that count, um, certainly they mm -hmm. seem to have um, had that victory. Um, and, of course, for Prince Harry, that, would, that part would be a blow, because he has wanted to bring all mm -hmm. of this stuff into light. He has yeah. talked about uh, how how it has been on his personal life and how he wants to discuss this and bring all of this evidence to light in a court case. Let's uh, keep bringing now the full statement uh, from a spokesperson for News Group newspapers that I previously mentioned was the former owner of News of the World, the current owner, of course, of the likes of The Times and The Sun. They say the High Court is today in a significant victory for News Group newspapers dismissed the Duke of Sussex phone hacking claims against both the News of the World and The Sun. As we uh, reach the tail end of litigation, NGN is drawing a line under disputed matters, some of which date back for more than 20 years. In arguing his case, the Duke of Sussex has alleged a secret agreement existed between him, Buckingham Palace and News Group newspapers, which stopped News Group newspapers from asserting that the Duke's claim had been brought too late. The judge, Mr Justice Fancourt, Claims uh, found his claims in relation to the alleged secret agreement were not plausible or credible. It's quite clear there was never such agreement and it's only the Duke who has ever asserted there was. Mr Justice Fancourt then dismissed the Duke's phone hacking claims against both the News of the World and The Sun on grounds that the claim had been brought too late. This substantially reduces the scope of his legal claim. The exact nature and scope of any trial are, of the remainder will be subject to further uh, hearing. So that's the statement from the news group newspaper claiming this is a significant uh, victory for them, even if there are some smaller parts of uh, the Duke of Sussex's claims that might still proceed uh, to court. A reminder, of course, that the key reason for that is that the claims has been brought too late. Uh, of course, this is a phone hacking trial has been dragging on for well over a decade. 
uh, whereas uh, Uh, Harry's claim against Mirror Group newspapers um, clearly was allowed to go to court and uh, the Mirror hadn't faced the same scrutiny uh, as the News of the World owner News Group newspapers had uh, over the course of the early part of the last decade. And uh, Sadia, again, just to uh, wrap things uh, up for us, uh, there are still some parts uh, of the Duke of Sussex claims against News Group newspapers that could still go to trial. And, and of course, we still await the verdict on the trial that uh, ran for a, a good couple of weeks earlier this summer against Mirror Group newspapers. Yes, so there are some parts, but it says here that the judge has, of course, refused his permission, um, which he had tried to amend so that he brings in this uh, secret agreement that he talked about. The judge described the Duke's case in relation to this secret agreement as implausible and inherently unlikely. Uh, noting that the only evidence supporting its existence was the Duke's own witness statement, which the judge described as vague and limited. And he says it was contradicted by the Duke's prior evidence um, and pleadings. The judge then granted news group uh, newspapers summary judgment in respect of the Duke's alleged violation, um, allegations of voice mail interception at both the News of the World and The Sun on the grounds that the claim had been brought too late. So, yes, while he will be able to bring other matters to court to trial. He will not be able to bring claims against NGN in relation to phone hacking, which, of course, we know and we understand to be a really big part of what Prince Harry wanted to establish here. The remainder of his case, which are the allegations of blagging, use of private investigators and surveillance, those will proceed to trial. But the scope of his claim has, of course... Been Join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the TAO Media family. Please like and share TAO Media. We love you all. Please support TAO Media Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.